And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 campaign, which is going to be Peacekeeper mode, and we're going to be playing the side quest No Mercy. Now, the reason we're playing this side quest is, one, I've never seen it before, two, it's definitely new to me. Anyways, hope everyone's enjoying the series regarding Dying Light, and the Peacekeeper just purely focusing on Peacekeeper dialogue. Hope everyone's enjoying that. Make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe button, let's get into it. Plenty here. Sure. Look for, for me near the metro tunnel. Huh? Yeah. Hey, you see hey, that? Excuse me, sir. Could I, could I go take a piss while you're huh? doing that? No pissing until I have a Not much traffic today. Why, I had that on my radar. X marks the spot. Hmm, glad you offered me that. ran across one of these. I'm making out like a bandit. Yes, there it is. Well, swap my poop deck. Great purchase. Have I got any better? Is everyone a weapon just to yeah, keep? Sure. And what would I do? And so, got him? This is an extremely serious condition. 
Of course it is. But this is a private matter. Private? Yeah. Now get the fuck out of here. Uh, Jack? Aiden, glad you're here. I'm sure you'll be meeting Veronica Ryan soon. Thanks to you, we know more about what's going on among the Butcher's troops. There won't be a better time to hit them. So tomorrow, when we attack, I shall call on you again. <laughs> Are you okay? You seem... Uh... Weak? Is that what you're trying to say? That cough, and the doctor seemed agitated. I'm worried about your health. I'm dying, Aiden. Cancer. Oh, but, but how long before you... Weeks, months, nobody knows. Medicine nowadays. How could anybody know anything, really? I'm... <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. I don't need pity. I need you to keep doing what you're doing. You know why? Because a man is only worth what he leaves behind. And I want to leave this world a better place. This city, a safer place. You mean without the Colonel? Yes, the Butcher. This, this will be my legacy. <coughs> and that's all I need from you to help me with that. I'm going to meet Veronica, but when the time comes, you can count on me. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you. Aren't you tired of looking at my face? I'm tired of seeing yours. So the goal here is for me to do this storyline, and then I'll jump on the old storyline and get that. That's the idea, because the other playthrough before we started doing Peacekeeper has better stuff on it. Therefore, I won't have to level up the 5 or 6. I can just go ahead and jump on that. That's the plan for that. guess we're doing this quest next. Heard bats in today. I think that we should come over here and get this metro station unlocked so that we can freely, uh, you know, teleport over here. So I believe the metro station's like right here, but I'll have to physically go over there to see if it's there. So we'll go here. Some things are good to have, some things are not. <laughs> metro station's kind of important. Maybe I'll do a wind turbine while I'm here. Or known as a windmill. I just call it wind turbines. Maybe I'll do one of those while I'm here. Uh, I might as well go up to the fish island and see if they have feathers. So what I'll probably end up doing, if I can find the safe house, I'll do the safe house. If I can't, then I'll probably run over here and do this, sleep off the night, go into this metal station if it is where I think it is. And it just make it easier to teleport around the map. All right, we have a game plan. Ask and you shall receive, baby cakes. Look at you, Mr. Smart Shopper. What made you pick that, I wonder? Didn't know you had such great taste. Next time you're in the fish eye, stop on by. After this, you won't shop nowhere else. Two scoops of that is always a good idea. Thanks for your business, man. My dad has a kid. <laughs> 
see anyone as awesome as Oka
ones next door. Darn. I'd help you. I don't know how. <sighs> Thanks. This convenient or why? Thought you'd go for that. The key to bring the corner to the city might be you. Enlist today. Bam! Get some. Tell your friends about us. Bye. twice before attacking us again. I wish this all was on top of this one. This to me, guys. We got it. So any time that you're about to do like a dark zone, always do it at night, it will make it easier. If you do it during the day, it's very, very difficult to do. So, now we're going to go turn our attention back to over here. I was originally going to do a main quest, but uh, this seems more important to have unlocked so that we can easily travel about the city. Probably should have did this before even starting the recording, but that's alright. It's all good. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. So, let's get the lock down this way. Or I can just be fine. Probably should have gone to the left there, but it's fine. What level are we? That's a good question. We're a level four in a level five area. Yeah, that's terrifying. Alrighty. Please have at least zombies in this one. It's looking like there's gonna be running gates in here. It could be a problem. Baby steps. I can get into. No bets. 
All right. I really do dislike it when it changes the arrows. Use fire. Burn it with fire. There, yes, there is a vent there. All right, let's try the parkour, maybe. I'm thinking about buying an Xbox Series X. Uh, I originally didn't see the point. I mean, or Xbox Series S. I'm thinking about buying one now. Well, I mean, I have the funds to do it right now. Y you see the point now. I just don't know if I should wait a little longer or if I should just buy it. <laughs> thinking about it. I think about just buying it. But screw it, you know? Some more of these. I like to try to keep it at like 50, 50 arrows. Definitely got to try out the bolts at some point. Okay, so there's gonna be one. I hope the mask bolt comes fly. <laughs> oh, I hope that you said he set on fire. There you go. I mean, like, what the hell? <laughs> so, a couple things I'm thinking about right now. Think about buying me an Xbox Series S. I'm thinking about. You know, doing the whole playing console, PC gaming, uh, you know, maybe PS5. I was gonna wait until the new ser the new series of uh, console came out, but uh, I don't know. I might not wait. I'm also thinking about buying me a gaming laptop. Why am I thinking these things? Well, I'm thinking long term. If I go on vacation, I can still produce some kind of content while I'm on vacation or lower that and show you, you guys what I'm up to type thing, you know. Thinking ahead. <laughs> thinking. Hmm. What can we do better? There are a lot of things we can do better. <laughs> Hey, if you think about it, if I get if I get an Xbox Series S or a PS5, I don't know if the PS6 has come out yet. If I get that, then I can play games on those consoles that are not out for PC. 
you see why I'm kind of going with that? Like, oh. Because I want to play The Last of Us, the first one, but you can only play that on PS5, supposedly. So I'm just like, well, shit. Hoping there was a PC version. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. That was pretty much what's going on with that. Uh, regarding sc Scum, or whatever the hell I was, I was playing, uh, the reason I stopped playing that is every time I got towards the end of that game, it just kept glitching out. I couldn't defeat the boss. On top of that, when you went to save, it just did the save glitch. Kind of like what it's doing here, the lighting glitch. So ever since they did the uh, update to the game for the Halloween patch, and then they remove the Halloween stuff. Stuff like this is glitching out, it's just like, really? Pretty much. I thought there was going to be zombies down here. That's why I slept out at night. Didn't want to deal with a vortex, or the hell you call it. Tank zombie is what I'll call it. It's easier. Didn't want to deal with it. I still got to play Fallout 4 on the channel. I think I'm gonna do Fallout 75 first, and then I'll play Fallout uh, 4. Unless well, something new comes up. I'm just kind of multitasking at this point. There's so much I want to put on the channel, but I have to do it slowly because if I don't, then I'm gonna get overwhelmed. So, <laughs> you know, baby steps. Uh, today I logged into my Patreon and they're doing, saying you need to do a W9. I'm like, what the hell is a W9? It, it, it has something regarding taxes. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm just so deeply confused and I'm just basically regarding patron and I'm like all right looks like it's time for me to go find another something like patreon that acts like patron um, 
Patreon, for those that were wondering what Patreon is, it's basically where you can have people pay money for a subscription or they can donate money and you can use that website to, you know, just kind of pocket money and then it can get resent to your PayPal or wherever it's supposed to end up, basically. So I've been using that as an w- easy interface for people to donate money to the club, virtual club that I run, so... And it looks like it's time to start seeking other things if they're going to start popping up all these, you know, W, you need W9, you need to fill this out. And, and then they come up with this 1011 cave thing, and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I get it, things change, but I'm just like, yikes. <laughs> I got this because it was easy to use, not complex. That's my thoughts regarding the patron thing. Just like, mm. I don't know. Yay! No, I don't want to go in there. Stop it. Yay! Inhibitor. Alrighty. So let's take a look at our time on the recording of this stream already. Wow, it's already at 30 minutes. Didn't feel like it. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, next video, we are going to be going into here. Into level 5 area. That's scary. Oh! Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. See you guys in the next video.